In this video, we're going to take a look at how to manipulate our model and move around our graphical screen. Here I have the hub IPT from our working files directory, and we're going to begin by looking at the right hand side of the screen. Over here on the right hand side, there is an interface element called the view cube. I'm going to right click somewhere on it and choose options. Here I can adjust how the view cube looks. Because of my screen, I do have a little bit smaller cube. I like to see a little bit bigger cube for our training. So I'm gonna go here to my view cube size and make that a little bit larger. I can also change my orientation planes and some other settings in here, but generally that's the only thing I ever change. So there my cube is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit easier for us to see now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click boom, 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 boom. As you can see, it moves your model around based on where you select on this cube. There are some things here labeled like top, front, left, and right. Traditionally, that doesn't really matter a whole lot to us right now because that is going to affect our drawings. So our front view on our drawings will be our front view on this cube. And that looks like a pretty decent front view, but maybe I want it to be more in a resting position when I place it into a drawing. So I'll go here. I'll right click on this part of the cube, this flat face, and let's say set that current view as front. By doing so, when I bring this into a drawing now, that will be my front orientation. Now, if you click on that home button, just like you saw me do there, it will take you back to a nice isometric view. And this can be very handy if you inadvertently get lost or into a bad spot on the view orientation and you just want to go home. You also have the ability to do that if you right click. You have a previous view and a home view by using your function toggles on your keyboard of F5 and F6. Now, what if I want to change my isometric home view? I essentially need to get it into an orientation that I like, like let's say here. Right click on that corner of the cube that's facing me directly and choose set current view as home to either a fit distance where it zooms all or a fixed distance which is my current camera orientation. I'm gonna do a fit to view. If this gets to be eight times larger, it's gonna fill the screen still. So now if I click around on the cube again, and then click on home, it takes me back to my new isometric orientation. The next thing to look at is our navigation bar. That's these series of commands here on the right hand side. The first one is called a steering wheel. If we turn this on, it turns into the little lost puppy of Autodesk Inventor. It essentially follows your cursor around wherever you go and you just can't get rid of it. This is designed for users that are using a touchpad on a laptop. If you are using a desktop or you're using a mouse with your laptop, you do not need this tool. If you are in an unfortunate sense where you went traveling with your laptop and then you forgot your mouse, it's nice to have all your viewing tools right here. For now, I'm gonna close this off to get rid of my steering wheel. I also have a pan tool and a zooming tool. These I don't use either because I use my mouse for that. If I hold down the center mouse button, which is essentially your wheel, your wheel is a button, that will do a panning operation of your model geometry. So it just pans it around the screen by holding down that center mouse wheel. If you scroll your mouse wheel up, it pushes the model away. If you scroll it down, it's going to bring it towards you. If you're so far zoomed in, let's say to this corner, this little nook and cranny here, if I want to zoom myself back out to see the entire model, well, I can do that a couple different ways. I can click on my home button on the view cube to get back to a zoom extent. I could also just double click my center mouse wheel. So that pan button, if we double click it fast enough, it will do a zoom extent. Right now, I don't really need pan. I don't really need these zooming tools because my mouse does all that work. So what else do I have left? Well, I have a orbit tool here. This is very similar to the view cube interaction, except when I turn this one on, I get the ability to do a constrained orbit left and right or up and down. Or if I click and hold inside of here, I can just do a nice little spin on this. So I'm just clicking and holding with my left mouse as I move around this model. I'll right click and choose OK to get out of that orbit tool. Now we also have a look at tool right below there. So I can click on look at and then click a face, and this will turn the face parallel to the screen for me so I can see it better. I can look directly down on that face, I can see the interaction and the model geometry without having it be askewed by an angle of my view. 
out of the commands I had over here, only two out of five were really viable for me to use all the time. So to make this more worthwhile, I'm going to click on this little tiny arrow at the bottom called Customize. I'm going to turn off my steering wheel. I'm going to turn off my pan, turn off my zoom, and turn on things that I find more beneficial, such as projection, and also visual styles. So here I have the ability to go to a perspective orientation, so it looks a little bit more true to the eye. Toggle these back and forth again, perspective and orthographic. I use that for all kinds of still shots for nice imagery. Then I also have my visual styles, so I can change back and forth between different ways to view the model. I now don't have to go up to my View tab, this is a lot of mouse travel, then go over here to Visual Style, and then choose it from this very long list of pull-downs here. So it's just easier for me to have this Visual Style pull-down on my navigation bar on the right-hand side. The default location for the cube and the nav bar is on the right-hand side, but you can move it to the left, the bottom, bottom right. One last tip I'll leave you here with is if you like using the middle mouse button for rotation rather than panning, some other CAD programs do this with the middle mouse button. If you hold down Shift and middle mouse button, that will do that orbiting tool for you. And if you let go of Shift, that will do your panning operation once again. So this has been a look at just how to manipulate the model by getting around inside of the model, spinning it, zooming on it, rotating the model in different ways, just to become more comfortable with engaging a model that you've created or that you're looking to modify.